Hey guys, okay, so I am doing my February favorites, and um, if you didn't know, last week I didn't do a weekly favorites because I was getting some people's inputs, and they said that they would actually like to see monthly favorites instead of weekly favorites. So that's actually what I'm doing today. So I'm doing my February favorites. This is a combination of what I have used over the month of February that I've absolutely loved and enjoyed, and I thought I'd share with you today. So let's dive into this and keep going. Okay, so the very first thing, and I've talked about these things um, before in the past, and I don't know, I just keep on going back to them over and over because they just work. Um, now, these are the Pomegranate Makeup Remover Cleansing Tissues. I think I mentioned something about these in a weekly favorites. I don't know the brand of these. You buy these at Ross. I pay $2.99 for them. They're dirt cheap. There's 60 of them in here. Um, I think you could buy them at Marshalls because they're grouped, um, same company. Um, I want to say that it's, I don't know, I mean, JN, I don't know, Rich On Incorporated is where they're distributed from. So they're these. Um, now I enjoy the pomegranate. There's a few that I don't like. I like the collagen one and there's an, the aloe one. It's not my favorite, but I definitely like these. They have a great scent to them, um, and they keep their moisture. That's the biggest thing is these actually stay moisturized. They have a good seal on them. Um, so these are just basically my holy grail. I have, uh, I think this is my last one left and then I have a Neutrogena one and then I need to go stock up on this because I go through these like two or three of these a day just because I like to use them to wipe my face off and to take all my makeup off at night time. So um, I need to go restock up on these and the last time I got these was actually down in Oregon. So I just need to go find some more and stock up but these are something that I will continuously keep on purchasing. Um, sticking with the face products still is we have a toner. Now I used to use this toner. This is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion um, for Combination Oily. Um, I used to use this toner years ago and I went back to it. And I could totally tell a difference. I mean, it doesn't take away, like, everything. Like, toners generally leave some kind of residue behind. But this one does a really good job. And I used this, um, this was brand new in the beginning of February, and you could tell how many, how much I've used. Um, overall, I mean, it's a, it's affordable for a high-end, um, product. I mean, clinic products, if you get the right ones, they're affordable. Um, there are some really expensive ones, but... Um, there are affordable ones, and their cleansing line, I think, is affordable to a clean, to a toner. Now, I mean, it's not like a few bucks like you could buy at the drugstore. Um, I think this might have been $18, but, you know, you're going to see the benefits. That's why things are high-end. Um, now, I've got nothing to say wrong with the um, drugstore, but I really like for a toner because it's going to be the last thing that generally stays on your skin before a serum is the toner so I mean I like to kind of splurge a little bit and get something that I know is going to work so this has been my toner for the month of February um I got a little trial size of Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash and when I first saw this and everybody was like oh it's great or it's not great or you know whatever I never saw any negative reviews of it um this does actually work really good. I mean, when I've tried other, um, like, face washes that say they go into foam and everything, they don't do it. But this one's really thick, and it has a really pleasant smell. It's kind of like a pepperminty um, smell to it. I don't know why there's no ingredients in this, but um, you definitely only need a small amount. And this is the origin, Origins, Origins, I think that's how you say it. Um, I got this with a sample size of like, uh, it was a kit and I got it around Christmas time. Um, it could have been November, but I, I broke it out, started using it and I've been enjoying it. Um, it's definitely enough in here to find out if you really like the product, which I do. Um, it leaves your skin really clean and, um, yeah, I mean, it's just an overall good cleanser. Um, Mint Julep Mask by the Queen Helene. Um, I got a small size of this because I didn't want to, how would you say this? 
I didn't want a bigger product if it was something I wasn't going to use because this is not the cheapest facial um, mask, but it's not the most expensive face wash. If you know what I mean, it's kind of like in the middle. But I really like this because it does take away any excess oil. Um, I use this generally on a weekend when I do my facials, which I need to do that today. Um, it does absorb the oil, and it's funny because this product actually, when you have it on your face, I don't know if it's um, like this for everybody else, but um, like I can see my pores, and then when I clean away my face, that the any blackheads I have is actually gone. So I would definitely recommend something like this if you're looking for a mask. It has a good minty smell, so if you can't stand mint smells, this may not be the best for you, but it's good. I mean, it's I'll kind of show you what it looks like on the inside. So it's got like a green consistency space, consistently color, and you only need just a little bit, and a little bit literally goes a long way. Um, I find the thinner that the mask is, the better, more beneficial that it is. Um, eye cream. Now, again, like in that little um, kit I got, I got an eye cream. My face. My hair is itching my face. I apologize. Okay. So I have um, two eye creams that I've been using, and everybody's been asking for a skincare routine, so I'm trying to find what's works for me before I do that, so please be patient, but it is coming, it is in the works. Um, this is the Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream that depuffs and brightens. Um, I would say that this product actually does work. I mean, like it says, I use this in the morning time if my eyes are really puffy, if I haven't slept as much as I would have wanted to the night before. Um, and it's, it's pretty cool because when I first tried it, I was like, uh, I don't know because it was, you know, it was a color that was not gel-like consistency, like I like it. Um, but I've been, um, using this in the morning time so that nothing gets like on my pillows or whatever. But it does, I could say it absolutely does do what it says. Um, and so I'm probably going to look into a full-size one, but these small ones go a long way because you only literally know it. You only literally need um, a small amount. Alright, so let's go on to makeup because I know you guys all want to see makeup. Um, I know I've talked about this before um, and I'll talk about it again because I liked it and I've used it all throughout February. This is the All May Wake Up um, Foundation. It's got a little bit, I've used quite a bit. Um, it's a hydrating makeup. When you put it on your face, it li literally feels like it's a wet consistency. So you have to use the little brush that comes with it because I've tried to use other brushes and they just don't work. So you want to definitely use the brush that's inside of it. And I was talking to somebody about this because I was recommending it to them and they said that possibly it may not work for them because they have dry skin. So she might actually be correct about that. This may not work for everybody, but I have a combination oily skin um, and it works for me. Um, and I don't really see my pores coming through as much as most people would see coming through on a lot of makeups. So I mean if you have a combination skin or if you have oily skin, this actually might work for you. Um, I tend to um, use it in the morning and then I may touch up through the middle of the day. But it generally stays up on my skin until like dinner time without looking really bad. So I would recommend this one. Now I've talked about this product um, before in many weekly favorites and I, it was my holy grail of 2013 and it still is and this is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. I've never had a BB cream or a CC cream or any like alphabet cream that worked for my face as well as this one. Um, and you only need a little bit and it literally blends into your skin and takes away any imperfections even it takes away my redness. Um, it's supposed to prime, correct, hydrate, and perfects. Um, I could see the correction and I could see the perfection, but I don't see a prime and I don't see hydrate. I generally use a primer underneath of this. Um, I don't know what's so good about this, but it definitely just has something in it that works for my skin. Um, again, I have oily skin, combination oily skin. And really, um, I'll use this if I'm in a rush out the door. It takes like a minute to put on. Um, I keep a baby wipe nearby to wipe my hands off and I'm out the door in it. And a little eyeshadow and 
mascara and you're good to go. I mean, that literally takes two minutes to do your makeup. So I definitely would recommend something like this if you are looking for a BB cream and you have oily to combination skin. Uh, lipstick. So this is the Maybelline in the, um, I want to say it's the Buff or Nude collection. This is what I used on my Valentine's, Valentine's Day tutorial. I'll show you what it looks like close. This is the color right there. Um, this is in the color, put this cap back on, 915 if you're interested. Um, I'm wearing it now over some, uh, what am I using? I'm like using the rose self on my lips and I put this over the top of it and it works just fine. Um, when you don't use anything like the shine base to it and you use this just by itself, it gives you like a matte, um, matte look so you could put a lip gloss over it if you want to. But um, I would recommend this. I mean, if you're looking for an everyday nude color and you don't know what works for you very well and you have like a really pinky lip or, you know, have some kind of pigmentation in your lips, this will actually mute all of that out and yeah, I've been enjoying that. Um, moving on to hygiene. So we have the Colgate Total Advanced Pro Shield. As you can tell, I have like just a little bit left. Um, so I'll probably use this up and it'll be in my empties video for some time. Um, absolutely love this. Um, I didn't think I'd actually like it because it was, um, the total line, I guess you could say. I have the purple one in it and I got really sensitive, but this one actually had been working pretty well. I have this one and then I have another mouthwash, so I'll probably repurchase this later on in the future. Um, this doesn't cause any like sensitivity or badness or burning to my teeth or lips. So I've actually been enjoying this. I don't know much more I could say about a mouthwash, but um, I prefer this one over that purple one that I had for quite a while. Two things left and then I'm almost done. Sorry. Um, the first thing is the Glam, G&G here, Glam. It's an organic nutrients and vitamins paraben alcohol free. So it's a chocolate cream. Um, I got this at Ulta on a sale. It looks like this. Um, you can see right there. And the inside of it has a silky consistency of, um, I don't know, I say like a cream. It smells like chocolate. Um, I've been using it to the ends of my hair and it's been working out pretty well. So, I mean, there's not too much more I could say about it, but. It's been working really well for my hair. My hair smells absolutely delicious. Um, and my hair has been not as frizzy as it used to be. Last thing is the Travelos. I have two of these. Um, I just picked this one up not too long ago. Um, I have a gold one and a purple one. I got this one on clearance. I don't know why they're clearance out because they're really like the coolest thing ever. It doesn't leak and you put all your perfume in it. So if you don't have a rollerball and you have a regular perfume, this is something that would actually work for you. Um, I think I have Fergie perfume in it right now. So um, one of these, when you fill it up, lasts you a long time. Unless you're dousing yourself with a lot of perfume. Yeah. So that is everything, I believe. Yeah, that's everything that I've been enjoying for February. This was my February favorites. I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a comment down below what was your favorite that you enjoyed in February. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.